Hi there. I'm David Phipps. I am the Assistant Vice President, Research Strategy and Impact at York University in Toronto in Canada, and I'm the Network Director for Research Impact Canada. And I'm here to give you a little bit of background on storytelling as it relates to knowledge mobilization and research impact. Research in knowledge mobilization tells us that dissemination is necessary, but not sufficient to inform change. To successfully inform change, you need to have close connections between researchers and end users. But dissemination is necessary. Imagine trying to inform someone else's decision without actually telling them anything. Dissemination is necessary for knowledge mobilization and dissemination is necessary for research impact. Dissemination is one of six key elements in the co-produced pathway to impact, a pathway that describes the steps from research to impact. First is stakeholder engagement and then co-produced or community engaged research. Dissemination, uptake, implementation, and ultimately impact. Dissemination is that moment where research evidence leaves the academic space and moves into the research user space. You can't have a research user take up evidence without them actually receiving it in the first place. Without dissemination, you can conduct research, but it will never have an impact on broader society. And that's what we're talking about in this session. Taking history research as an example, in the summer of 2021, in the issue of Intersections, the quarterly magazine from the Canadian Historical Association, Gary Myers, a graduate student at York University and I, wrote that if historians want to make an impact beyond traditional methods of academic dissemination, they, knew they need to do nothing more than what historians have always done, tell a story. So if you want your research to reach beyond your academic publication, you need to tell a story. There's one more place in the co-produced pathway to impact where storytelling is important. And that is when you are telling the story of the impact of your research. Jonathan Grant did an analysis of the over 6,000 research impact case studies arising from the 2014 Research Excellence Framework exercise. The Research Excellence Framework is a research assessment exercise for all the universities in the United Kingdom. Jonathan's analysis identified that the narrative case study is the correct unit of assessment for judging the impact of research. And what else is a narrative case study than a story? But stories need to be compelling. Writing in Policy Studies Journal in 2007, Mark Macbeth and colleagues investigated policy documents and identified three core elements to storytelling as it relates to policy. First, there's the plot. These are the elements of the story that connect actions and outcomes. The plot attaches meaning to a series of events. Then there's the moral of the story. This is the ultimate solution or the overarching message being addressed by your story. And then finally, there's a hero. The central characters, not many, the researchers and decision makers involved in making the research and in delivering the impact. I'm gonna propose that storytelling is the oldest form of dissemination. Prehistoric prehumans looked up in the sky and they saw patterns in the stars. They drew pictures on the walls of caves. I bet there were stories that went along with those patterns and stories that went along with those pictures. Those stories probably had a plot, a hero and a moral. And now the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada holds an annual storytelling contest for graduate students and postdoctoral fellows. From prehistoric times to contemporary competition, storytelling has a central role in the sharing of knowledge. As you think about telling the story of your research, your knowledge mobilization, and ultimately the impact of your research, remember to have a compelling plot, a meaningful and informative moral, and a few heroes who are essential to the story. As you work through this learning module, you will learn these and other techniques of storytelling. At the end, you will be able to tell your story.